Right, Fuck Kyle. He sucks. Wow. Th- thanks. thanks. Wow. Holy, that was harsh. It yeah, was a I wanted harsh. to. I wanted to start off intense, so it's only a- start off intense, so I don't feel guilty Piss when I the- kill all your. Yeah, that's right. Piss off the I GM. That's it. always a good plan. That was intense. <laughs> yeah. No, let's tell it's everybody about what Brand about was telling me earlier. <laughs> Guys, this is the cred campaign, but honestly, I don't have anything prepared, so I'm going to throw it over to Caitlin. Go, Caitlin. Um, tonight we all become ponies. What? <laughs> and we're going to get these little <laughs> tattoos on our butts, and they was supposed to determine what our skills and spells are. <laughs> And you have right. three choices. You could be an Earth pony, you could be a unicorn, or you can be a Pegasus. But like, only the very rare gets to be Alicorn. So, you gotta I, 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 I'm not sure what to say here. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think this actually is solid. Let's keep this going. Let's this would be yeah, a yeah, good sure April Fool's episode, but this is. <laughs> but it's real. Yeah, no, we really are turning into ponies tonight. We are going to turn to ponies. That's All right. exactly what's happening. I this is the berries we actually ate last episode before and we went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever we don't like becomes Applejack because, you know, it's the worst one to be. Sorry. Oh, I get Aww. to be Applejack? That's not cool. No one wants to be. That's appropriate. Yeah, he can be the worst one. Thanks. So those berries are those so uh, doll size? Do doll you- size? Yeah, I tried to figure out the real world name for them, and and they have like a scientific name, but there's actually like a like a pseudonym they go by, which is Doll's Eyes. D O L L S or yeah. like Doll's Eyes Berries. Okay. No balls. Ball size. Well, it could be D O L S D or like you know, there's Doll Whip. Maybe it's like D O D O L E. Like Barbie. Hmm. Wait, wait. Oh, what the. Heck? So, so do you need an actual intro, Kyle? Oh no, it's good. I just honestly yeah. wanted to see what Caitlin would come up with. It's <laughs> that was better, pretty good, so though. Caitlin, uh, you can go ahead good. and get started. All right. So, what type of pony are you guys gonna be? I want to be a Pegasus. I want to fly. I want to be All an right. Apocalypse pony. <laughs> you know what? You can be. There's a what's her name? Mod Pie or whatever. Pinkie Pie sisters. They're really like apocalyptic theming. People are going to tune in and wonder what the fuck is going on. I love it. This is like my little pony. It's the best. You know, they are going to tune mm. in and they're going to see such strangeness, such confusion. They won't know what to think. Exactly what happens when Cthulhu rises. Yeah, I mean, it's and perfect. Just before it's absolutely dies. perfect for this. this I... Can you could like go into another dimension, right? So we can go into my little pony world. That would be amazing. Like, amazing. <laughs> send me there. <laughs> All right, guys, let's start off the show with the usual rigmarole. I don't actually have my list, so I will be doing this off the top of my head. Although, to be fair, I do that every single time. Follow (laughs) us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. If you want to take a look at our YouTube archives, you can do that over there. If you want to hit us up, uh, you can do that at Twitter or at mhoboinc at gmail.com. If you'd like to play in one of our games, you can't do it this week. I do that bit every single time because this is campaign week. Next week is the one where you can play in the one shot possibly the week after that one too but i haven't told these guys about it yet and they'll figure it out the hard way one way or another uh if you want to talk about DD, if you want to talk about cred uh whatever horrible things uh i put these players through uh such as you know falling asleep on a beach you know for that i earned the death sentence <laughs> Uh, you can do that over our discard channel if you would like to buy some cool swag we don't have cred swag yet I'm not going to blame anyone for it, Ernie. But <laughs> Ernie? Yes. What did I do? Since I'm not is... going to blame anyone, Ernie. I may have I'm forgotten. I'm not going to tell you oh, I that see, I see Carol it. was at fault because Carol's the designer of all our cool and awesome merchandise. Actually, no, Frank designed most of it. I, I've got a couple pieces in the shop, but yeah, that's really, why I said the Frank. cool merchandise. Oh, I see. Oh, 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 I pin the blame on you, but I also compliment you. can. You. As I said, you totally can. It's <laughs> I, I blame work. Work is killing me. It work is awful. Is. You know what? 
unemployment that's the way to go guys no uh, <laughs> I, I like my job too much it's by the fact it's been a beast lately i still like my job all right and guys <laughs> if you don't want to look at our faces you don't want to get all those inside jokes that we do that are strictly visual and have <laughs> absolutely no audio quality whatsoever uh you can hit the tiny url link down below after that we have some very cool very awesome sponsors uh, we have, first and foremost, Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, they make wonderful dice. Not for me. I have to spend thousands of dollars and get dice mm -hmm. elsewhere. Uh, but it allows me to buy giant dice that I can give cool nicknames to. So that's cool. Uh, and finally, if your game stinks, Adventure Sense. Make it stink even worse with Putrid Sewers. What you do is you just get it out on a line. You grind it up real good. You get that dollar bill rolled up. It does it better with a 50. But if you're on a budget, $5 works. It's almost comparable. It's like 10 times not as good. But. But what? I, I, we were talking about My Little Pony. I just got that now from uh, whatever Caitlin was saying earlier. <laughs> oh I didn't realize that's what we were talking about. That's my bad. <laughs> My little pony, my Crazy. little pony. Crazy. Okay. My little pony. That is a game system too. So you know that's your next one shot, right, Kyle? Uh it is a game system. It's a game system. It really is. They ran and I want to run version. a my little pony game so badly. Only if DJ will play in it, uh, so I can put <laughs> him to sleep in that one as well. <laughs> you dick. We love you, DJ. We All right, do. but guys, that's Adventure Sense. They also have all the RPG with your cat and the Shine Project for helping you write some awesome storylines for either your books or for your games, although they are going to come out with an RPG one, so keep an eye on that. Uh, finally, let's go around. I've mentioned every single player here tonight uh, except myself, which is very odd because I usually like to talk about myself all the time. Kyle does. He really does. Uh, so we'll go around the table. We will start with my favorite to my least favorite. Tap dancers. <laughs> DJ, I'm sorry. Your your feet are clumsy. You have two left feet. He but does why don't not. you introduce yourself? I am uh, Sleepy Joe. Uh, I like long... <laughs> And short walks on the beach and to just narcolept down in the sand. Yeah. DJ. Uh, finally, we get over to Caitlin, who is almost as bad as DJ at tap dancing, but. Oh my God, I would just be annoying. I'd be like, click, 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 with no like re rhyme or reason. He has no rhythm, exactly. Just Go ahead, make noise. <laughs> I... Throw that information out there, Caitlin. Wait. Oh, boy. Who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, Caitlin, if we're talking about dating, I'm single. <laughs> Ready to mingle. Who are you playing tonight? <laughs> I'm playing Cleo. Who's <laughs> also single <laughs> and ready to. I'm not ready to mingle because she's a bitch. <laughs> Does Jeremiah know that she's single? <laughs> <laughs> we are doing a show tonight, Frank. Come on, we're just building up to it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta build Frank up. Frank is for... getting restless, all right? It's oh like... my gosh, but then I actually have to write the campaign if you guys don't take forever to introduce yourself. Speaking of taking forever, Carol, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, all right. Uh, hi, everyone. My name's Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commissioned mini painter, and answer uh, D and Devious brand is not sleeping anymore on the beach. And I play Anja Jaeger. Uh, I am a half elven ranger. There we go. And finally to Ernie. Ernie, the most Raise wonderful him. tap dancing. He is light on his toes as well as his heels because you need both, it turns out, to tap dance. Who knew? Uh, DJ certainly didn't. Ernie, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, so uh, my name's Ernie, and I'm playing Riley, the uh, amnesiac. I mean, warlock. Um, <laughs> I have 
forgotten a, a couple days, I guess, in my quest for power. Um, and I was in last episode betrayed by my close friend Nebby, and uh, I knocked her unconscious with Eldridge Blast, and we dragged her back to our little camp on the beach, and that's where we ended. That is where we ended. I mean, gosh, do I have to give any more of a recap than that? You have to tell us what happens now that we're level three. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, we had to do something quick because I want to actually play. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, my bad, all right. These characters, last time they hit level three, however, they don't get to enjoy the benefits of that until they take a long rest, which they did at the end of last session. And so, as our characters wake up, feeling Uh... fine, refreshed, maybe some of them slept in a little bit more than they should, let us go around, and Carol, we will start with you since you want to play so much. Yes. Carol, uh, you hit, uh, well... Another level? Did you go with a uh, ranger or did you uh, multi-class? No. no, I'm going with ranger because I wanted to pick up monster slayer. And I actually, personally, as a player, I don't tend to multi-class. So. That is a shame. That is I know. Shame. In this version, I'm more like to do it. I think it's it's it works a lot better. So uh, we'll see. What game-breaking things did you get with the Monster Slayer? It's been a while since I've looked at that. Oh, uh, hang on. I have to actually go to it because <laughs> I was on my hit points. Because we're going to roll it in front of everybody tonight. Yeah, uh, well, not in front, but we'll do it live. I do believe I get a damage booster. Uh, I get to target something. Let me... All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I found it. Well, I had a... Shorthand. Damage. All right, features and traits. What did I get? I got, uh, let me find it. Uh, I get I get spells now. I get mm-hmm. monster slayer magic spells. And I get, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Slayer's prey is a bonus action. You designate one creature you can see within 60 feet. And the first time each turn that you hit that target with a weapon attack, it takes an extra 1d6 damage. This benefit lasts until you finish a short or long rest, and if you would, or if you designate another person. So basically, I can pick somebody on the field with a bonus action, and I can do more damage, which is good for a ranger. That sucks. All right, Carol. Uh, what hit die are we rolling today? Uh, ten. We're rolling a d10. So rules are: uh, you get whatever the highest of the rolls is. If we both roll the same number, we re-roll it. So if you roll a ten and I roll a ten, we re-roll it. If I roll a one and you roll a two, you get two. Yeah. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's I've do it. I've got my worst, uh, I mean, my best rolling D10. Ready? Yep. I got an eight on mine. I also got an eight. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was... Reroll. Re- re-roll? Oh, that's right. We re-roll ties. That would have been a lot better. Well, yeah, that would have been a lot. Now I got a one. Oh. You get four. Hey, that's better than a one. Uh, I would have rather had an eight. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, this is Cthulhu. Everybody hates that. All right, let's move on over to Ernie. Ernie, third level, you went barbarian? No. No. Oh, sh- poop. Okay. I thought the betrayal would have made you into a barbarian. I, right. I, I calmed down after we subdued Nebby. Um... <laughs> And also, I kind of forgot a couple of the reasons why we were that close, but <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Uh, but now as a third level warlock, I get packed to the boon. So, or packed, or I get a boon. So I get packed to the tome, <laughs> I should say. So that means I pick up uh, three more cantrips of any class. Mm-hmm. So I decide to get control flames, light and mending on top of my Eldritch Blast and mage hand uh so this will be fun how are you feeling after you woke up from being betrayed uh i feel i don't i kind of forget um but i also feel a little bit more powerful there you go roll that d8 d20 d20 all right yeah no i got it right here what'd you roll uh no seriously d8 uh let's see what do we we got what do you got Uh, seven Five, you get seven hit points. 
Nice. Sorry, Carol. You really got. Uh, I, yeah, I, I'm <laughs> right not, off the bat. I'm seriously not sure if I'm, and it's nothing to do with that. I'm not sure I dig that. I think what you should just, if it's a tie, we just go with it. Nah. That's, or we <laughs> add them together and you no, get. No, 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 no. Starting no. with Caitlin. Cleo. No, I wouldn't hey. want that. Third level, you went barbarian, right? <laughs> Every day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> that fierce. All right. Third level sorcerer. What'd you get? What'd you go with? What do you mean? My spells? Yeah. Or uh, metamagics. I believe those come into play, right? Yeah. My snowball swarm. What did yeah. I pick? Metamagic. Uh, metamagic. <laughs> metamagic. <laughs> I did ask her to be ready for this portion of the show uh, a couple show? hours ago. Oh, it is transmuted and twin spell. Transmuted and twin. Yeah. And uh, you are an Azimar, right? <laughs> I believe so. Do you get anything else at third level? Oh, I, I have no clue. Do I? So I've always wondered, can you fly now? <laughs> I do get my wings. You got your wings now. Oh, I don't oh. know. You only get them for a minute, though. So you can fly for oh, a minute? Sure, is that actually a fly. thing? Yeah. That is an actual that thing. That is she a real thing. Fly. She can it's abandon cool. you guys at the drop of a hat now. Yeah, but she Ooh. can only go a minute, you know? So, I mean, it's not exactly like she can abandon us that far back. Where does this stuff go? Yeah, Brand's going to catch up with you one way or another. Uh, <laughs> I think it's... <gasps> It is in there. I know because I said I have a pal. I have an Asimar paladin, so I do know that it is in there. And I think you can fly. Okay. All right. I don't know if I can remember the ability name though. <laughs> Ten of features and what traits. What are your hit dice? Do you roll d sixes or d eights uh, as a sorcerer? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's go with a D D four just to be safe. <laughs> I don't think anything gets a D four anymore, does it? That's a shame. Sorcerer gets D six. Yeah, All right, you got a D six there with you, Cleo. Yeah, I do. All right, give it a roll. Do the pretty one. Hell dice. What you roll? Uh, three. You get three hit points. And finally, to my favorite player, who is always ever so quiet, ever so patient, uh, unlike Carol, uh, Bran, DJ, what do you get here at third level uh, after you multiclassed into Barbarian? Uh, well, so I, I had a special feature where I got two classes, and I got both levels. It's great. No, yeah. uh, I continued going Monk. I am now Way of the Mercy. Uh, I, I gain another Kai point. I am now at three Kai points, a, uh, a level that I get every short rest. Screw you, Kyle. <laughs> and now sure you're immune to somewhere. arrows being shot at you. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I also get to uh, potentially <gasps> deflect damage from arrows Ooh. for my actual archetype feature. I now get to heal or harm with my fist. And not like the normal punch you harm. Uh, using a Kai point, I get to potentially heal somebody by touching them. Uh, or I can deal extra necrotic damage and harming them if I strike them with a hit and spend a Kai point. All right. I hate you guys all, and I'm going to end the campaign rather quickly now. Uh, but before we do that... <laughs> How do you feel after waking up, Bran? D8? All right. Let's roll. Six. Eight. Dang it. And everyone else can see it. Yep. <laughs> uh, You're rolling uh, on DD Beyond. Yes, I am. Okay. Well, guys... You wake up after uh, the fun night's festivities. Uh, you do have Nebby in uh, tied up, I believe, is what you had last time. Yeah. She's currently still resting and recovering from her night. And you wake up with the beach 
waves washing upon the shore in the distance. Um, and the camp a little bit emptier now, a ghost town. As birds chirp, waves crash, odd clicking sounds here and there. Did Jeremiah ever turn back up? You look around the camp, Jeremiah's not there. Oh, shit. Is anyone else missing other than the ones we that ran away? Well, Kenza and Aiden were looking after Jeremiah. Did they ever return? That is, yeah. They are in camp with you. They did not find Jeremiah last night. Mm. Well, that sucks, but... I said he's possessed. Gotta let him go. <laughs> Cleo, I think you were trying to escape from Jeremiah the entire time, so I guess this is beneficial for you. And he is basically my human meat shield, so... He did save you from that boar. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saved Riley from the uh, deep, deep one. one. Yeah. Jeremiah's been uh, pretty helpful, except when he got drunk in that one. Oh, I forgot. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, assuming this is after breakfast at this point. Okay, I yeah. want to actually, I'm going to take a look and I'd like to make a survival check to look for tracks. Hit, I guess, sure. specifically his. I know we have to track down the others too, but uh, 16. Yeah. 16? Mm, okay. A lot of tracks. A lot of running around last night. Kind of got rid of some of them. And between uh, Captain Kenza and uh, First Mate Pasala, uh, uh, tracks running around last night looking for Jeremiah. Um, if you spend uh, about an 15, 30 minutes <laughs> or so you can eventually find Jeremiah's tracks. Uh, it looks like he walked up to a tree and then was dragged off. Is it in the same direction that the mutineers went? It Ooh. is not. Shit. Well, that would have been convenient. If you... Yeah. Wouldn't it have? Shit. You, uh, looking at the drag marks, they end up going deeper into the forest. We'll assume a little bit higher score because the forest is your uh, terrain. Uh, maybe not this jungle, but that. And it does look like it'll go deeper into the jungle if you decide to go and yeah, follow shit. Jeremiah. Uh, I'm going to go talk, tell the party what I found. And... We gotta figure out which direction we want to go in because there's we there we have to go after the mutineers, and we probably should try to find him. Yeah. Uh, so hey guys, I found tracks. It looks like Jeremiah was dragged away, completely different direction than everyone ran. Yeah, that that's unfortunate. Um, I kind of want Kenza's opinion on. You know, if there's a, a time crunch on turning in this cargo. And if there's not, then let's go after Jeremiah. If there is a time frame in which we have to retrieve the cargo, then we might have to prioritize that. That's See, very fair. Riley, this is why so many of them didn't like you. Why? You don't consider their well-being. <laughs> we should I don't. go after Jeremiah. He has helped us many times. Without his assistance, we would all be dead. I don't remember him really helping us out much. Well, I mean, I think he kind of helped save you. When? Oh, when, when you get attacked by the deep one when we were headed to shore. I don't remember that. What? Well, you know step that? in here. You were almost, dr you were going to drown. They, I like, mean, I, I remember I got splashed into the water and then uh, we all woke up on the shore. 
No, you were grabbed and dragged underneath and we fought them. We killed one of them. I get off the other. You must be mistaken. I don't I don't remember that at all. No, we are not mistaken. No, it, you're the yeah. only one who doesn't seem to remember this. Here, let, let me check my notes and I pull out my book <laughs> to, to see if it's in my ledger. You don't find a book. What? My book. Instead, you pull out a stone tablet. <gasps> is this my <laughs> is this my uh my tome? My magical tome? This is your tome. My tome is a tablet. Can that can, tome is can I magically write on it? Inscribe on it? So I still take notes on my my infinite tome. His missing memories aren't in there, right? You go to write on it and you bring up your hand and you have longer claws and you find that they easily scratch into this tablet (laughs) as you write into it. And Anja and Bran, while you were discussing his uh, missing memory, you also noticed that He's got a sheen to him, and the scales seem a little bit more pronounced than what you would remember from earlier. I will lean over to Anja and yeah. kind of whisper to her, I believe something is going on, and we should keep an eye on him. Something's not right. There's something not right with a lot of this. <laughs> we probably need to keep an eye on all of us. Speaking of which, Bran. Your arm hurts this morning. Oh. Oh, no. I'll take a, you know, I'll check it out. You know, just kind of, where does it hurt? Shoulder, forearm, bicep? It hurts on the arm where your mother grabbed you in your dream last night. Mm -hmm. I will check that spot. Are you doing this out in the open or in private? No, in private. I always reveal in private. You see where the hand has grabbed you. And this arm, which had some scarring on it before, that scarring is gone now uh, from your meditations from the monastery. And you have three new scars And what seems like sprouting from those scars are scales. Entirely different from Riley's, but very similar to the folk from Rizante. And if you look closer, they continue to go up your arm until they meet a point where, if you recall, a raven landed on your shoulder And there are scars there, too, from the claw marks and from a beak that was stabbed into your arm. And a light glow is emanating from those scars. And the scales seem to stop at that point. If you were to pull off your glove, you would notice that you also have claws on one hand. Oh, shit. I'm not there, but oh shit. Uh, Start breathing heavy and um, excuse myself. Give me a dread saving throw, please. Shit. (laughs) Wisdom, right? Speak of which. 21. 21. All right. Oh. I will You'll gain one level of dread. This doesn't really have a kind of fear based, but maybe you try and keep yourself covered. You determine that this one is not going to go away anytime quickly. You're going to have to work through it uh, during downtime later on, but how you deal with it is you. Okay. Basically, I'll just start wrapping it up, treating it like any other wound, and think about best ways of dealing with skin infection. (laughs) 
<coughs> Shit. So, keeping an eye on each other is what you guys said earlier? Not mm. me. I'm looking at this tablet, like, really happy about this new thing <laughs> and, and exploring its power and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, no, you spend the time looking at this tablet. You can find that you write easily on it. Um, if you were to drop it on the ground, it actually, boom! You have a Mjolnir uh, tablet. I, I think can... Ubo Sathla, like, thank you. This is the best present I could have ever wished for. And you just feel a drawing of... coming from the tablet itself a desire to fill it full of new information i will comply <laughs> uh and with that there is a bit of a cough and nebby wakes up captain kenza and uh first mate Pasala have uh left you to go and try and find a little bit more food for the morning as well as to prepare for a trek. <laughs> so, um, I suppose before we go, we can always talk to Nebby before we go after Jeremiah. Maybe you can get a little more insight as to what's going on. I thought you just reprimanded me for uh, I not didn't. hurrying after Jeremiah. No, 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 I didn't. He did. But uh, no, I want to, we do need to go after Jeremiah. But she's awake, and if we talk to her now, we'll figure out what to do. So do you want to talk to her, uh, Riley? Actually, not really. Cleo, do you want to talk to her? Is that a speak like I shouldn't? What's that? I, I was like, should I not? Well, I mean, she might probably has information as to why they all do need. I'm not sure if I'm the best person to try to pry information from people, but I can try. I'll, I'll do it. I'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I walk off. Her. I don't care about what Nebby the liar says. <laughs> uh, I look at Nebby and um, I guess I could try to make an insight. Well, I've got insight. I want to try to make an insight check as to what her, like, does she look confused or does she look yeah, angry or like she's trying to get away to book it to join her friends. Um, that was a crap fantastically bad roll so that was only a seven i don't know shit <laughs> uh guys this is why you always wait for the dm to ask the role because yeah. he probably would have given you the information yeah i want now nah, rather if somebody was actually better at this do this than me i just wanted to see I, I, <laughs> I liked i like to see what i what my character would see no, she absolutely wants to get out of here. She's crazy. She, if she gets out of her bond, she's gonna stab you. Shit. I... Why? Uh, Bran, uh, <laughs> if you're watching Nebby, you see that she is entirely confused. She is an old half elf woman, and she is kind of tugging at her bonds, like, oh, oh, what's what's going on here? I will, um, after wrapping up my hand and completely covering it up, I will uh, go examine her, uh, see if there are any physical marks upon her. Uh, uh, the only physical marks you see are from an eldritch blast, uh, a knife going into her <laughs> back at some point. I mean, these are wounds that you treated last night. They don't look a lot better than what they were. Maybe a little bit from healing overnight, but she is in rough shape. Um, I'll check some non 
Thank you, dear, I'll look so for much. Other, yeah, I'll look for other symptoms, um, signs from like eating something bad. Between Riley's memory loss and them all going crazy, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Especially since I didn't eat the same stuff that they ate. Um, check their eyes, check uh, the mouth, tongue, things like that. Sure. Uh, just give her an overall exam to see her, like, see if her blood pressure or heart rate is accelerated, things like that. Uh, a little dehydrated, and as she's coming more and more to, um, blood pressure seems relatively okay, but her she's starting to realize what's going on, and her heart is beating faster. Oh my gosh, are, are, is everyone okay? I'd like to insight check her in, her sincerity to that comment. If you like, go ahead and roll. Twelve. She seems completely and utterly genuine, grandmotherly, worry, um, not only for herself but for all of you as well. Is is Anja all right? I saw that. Banda hit her with a great sword a few times. She is fine. Well, what thank happened? God. We didn't want to hurt anyone. What happened? Why did you run? And why did you take the cargo? Things, things, things were getting really, really bad on the ship. And, and, and we got to the island and something, something was wrong. But we, but, but Ola, the female of the triplet dwarfs, she, she said if we got the stones to, stones to the priest where they were supposed to be going, that the priest would, would be able to save us. Save all of you. We didn't, we didn't mean to hurt anyone. We're all acting very strange and not just in the concept of escaping us. Not, not strange. We're just trying to do what's best for everybody. One of them was skipping and singing. I don't know anything about that. I just knew we had to get the had to get the stones to the priests as quickly as we could. And 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 we didn't want to hurt any of you. But then, Riley could have fooled me. Could have fooled me. You attacked us first. I did not. We weren't trying to hurt anyone. He said Riley. Not I, remember, I, I walked off before you this walked happened. off. Yeah. 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 And <laughs> Bran and Anja, without rolling your insights, although Anja, you don't catch this quite as much, uh, is that, you know, Nebby is absolutely heartbroken over uh, uh, Riley attacking them. We were just trying to do the right thing and we didn't want to hurt anyone. We were mutinying. You, you How is that the right thing? But for the right reasons, isn't it worth it? No. Why, why were you convinced that this was what you had to do in the middle of the night instead of going with us? Well, Olo had been talking about it for a little while. Uh, after the storm... She said we would all be doomed if we had been left on shore if we weren't able to get those stones. I didn't believe her, but but the rest of the crew, I mean, she's very important to us. And That's we want to hurt priest. Captain Kenza. And it's honestly what Captain Kenza, it wasn't mutiny. We were just trying to get the stones there faster. No. Clearly not. That's not, an irrational, that's not a rational assessment of that situation. You could have spoken to us. You could have spoken to Captain, to the Captain, to Captain Kenza. You could have told him that you wanted to move quicker. We would have gone with you. Maybe so, but they promised not to have us tell anyone. Why? It was just between us. I Why? don't know. It wasn't until last night that I realized they were right. We had to. 
Did you have a dream last night before this happened? Yes. The world was being torn asunder in fire and flames. Strange things were coming. But it was the priests. They took the stones and they protected us. And that's, that's when Olo was right. Olo was right, but we didn't mean to hurt anyone. Man, it is hard to keep up an Irish accent and sound sad at the same time. Do you know what happened to Jeremiah? He and I were on watch together last night. He went to use the bathroom just before, and I woke up. I woke up Olo. It was her turn to watch. And and I went to sleep to that nightmare. I, I didn't see him after he walked out, though. Priest of what? The priest here on the island. The priest of Fett. How do you, how do you spell Fett? Religion? Like Boba Fett? Yeah, and may excuse me. May I make a religion check to understand what that religion is? Sure. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, and Cleo, sure. if you want to join in on that, you have uh, some religious know-how too, I believe. Mm-hmm. Fifteen is pretty good. Maybe. So am I doing checking on it? Yep. Do a religion check. I can do virtually twenty-one. There you go. Um, Bran, you know that the priests of Fett are um, priests who worship the volcano on this island. Um, It gives the island life. It came out from the island. Um, It allows the land to grow and flourish as it does. Uh, Cleo, uh, your family is fairly involved with this primitive religion. I mean, typical fire god, blah, 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 but they believe that the Wilkemite, actually, um, when the volcano here uh, exploded, the Wilkemite scattered all around the lands, and so you can find veins of Wilkemite here, but the priests of Fet are known to pay up handsome penny for Wilkemite because they believe it is the sacred stone of the mountain of the volcano. And if you have any more questions about that, you rolled well enough that I'll happily answer a few more. Do we have any do we, do we have more questions? Huh? So do we have more questions? Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> I'll say you also mm-hmm. know that they are in competition with the priests of light. Um, who <laughs> on the island as well? Uh, let's see. Boo, doo, 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 doo. That's yeah, an why interesting not? question, man. That's an Perfectly interesting fine. question, Brad. I love it. I don't want to get into specifics. No, we, we can leave based on everything. You know what? Later on, later on, this will be in outer games uh, conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, entirely. Uh, yeah, they uh, uh, they rate you based on. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> All right. Oh, that explains so much now. Hmm. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Sorry, sorry, folks. Answer. None of you will understand this. <laughs> All right. Well, because she is an ill person, she's clearly not in her own right mind. And given the fact that she was swayed so easily, she needs some mercy. So I will spend a Kai point and I will heal her uh, a D6 plus my wisdom bonus using my healing cut or hand of healing. Sure. No, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, hand of healing is 1D4 plus my wisdom bonus. Trying to cheat already. (laughs) 
So that will be six. Six? <laughs> All right. No, you just see some tension and you just at the right point and that tension just kind of goes away. A shuddering breath, she relaxes a little bit and is a little bit more calm. But she still insists that she did the right thing. She's just sorry about what happened. Can't understand why Riley would betray her like that. I don't respond to that. I think, though, I think we do we have our answers. I look at Bran and Cleo. Yes, as enough as much as we can here. We shouldn't dally too much. All right, maybe we need to we need to get Riley, and I think yeah, we need to go get Jeremiah. I think Cap. I think uh, uh, so. Who's left? Captain Kenza and uh, uh, our first mate, correct? First mate Pasela, who are walking into camp. Aiden Pasela. Aiden Pasela. Okay. So uh, Captain Kenza and Aiden. Do you think it'd be prudent to ask them if they could go see if they could track down the others? That's actually what I was thinking in some ways. Looking at the captain and Aiden, I will tell them briefly what I have learned from um, I'm losing names today. Um, Nebby. Nebby. Nebby, thank you. Yep. Uh, And then I will tell them I believe it is best that you take her. She is ill. I think this voyage and, to be honest, possibly even this island has effects on people, to say the least. I'm sure that we've all felt it in some ways, and other and various people will deal with the mental stress differently. We should go look for Jeremiah. But we can catch up with you. We have, we have uh, Anja here. She can find uh, her way and guide us through the jungle easily. I can try. <laughs> the dice may take it away. Where's your ranger confidence? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know, I, I do have it. But... Yeah. Uh, Aiden um, agrees with you. I mean, there's some rumors about the island doing some strange things, but this is the first I've ever seen of it. But yeah, we'll take Nebby and we'll we'll follow the beach around. Eventually, we'll get to Farzine, the city, not the island, because we're already here, of course. Right, Captain? And uh, Captain Kenza is staring out at her broken ship, which is still out there in the water. Oh, uh, Yes. We'll go after Jeremiah, and you go after the mutineers. No, I'm... I think you got that backwards. I'm sorry, I got that backwards. <clears throat> and we're going after Jeremiah, you're going after the mutineers. Uh, don't... In- I would oh. say, wait for us to engage them. Yes. Just follow them, and if you, if, if not, betrayal, come back. Yeah, leave a trail. Amen. <laughs> Make it easy for me, you know, when my dice decide to suck. Although yeah, don't use exactly. <laughs> Make it so I don't need to actually roll. Yeah. Well, we'll just follow the direction that they go and we'll leave some driftwood if they decide to go into the jungle. I don't know. I mean, honestly, we should probably get to Farzine. The creatures here are terrible, I hear. I do agree. If they are if they are going to bring it to a priest, I would assume that this priest would be in Farzine or near the area of Farzine. Are there any other local settlements aside from Farzine City? Or settlement? Ooh. Uh, Captain Kenza pipes up. Um, this island has been settled by multiple people. I mean, before Farzine became the main city, there were tribes of people all around the island. Hmm. But... They all joined together hundreds of years ago, I think. I, from what little I've picked up from sailing around the place. Yeah, all that's supposed to be out there these to... days are mostly farmlands. Well, hopefully they're heading to Farzine, and it will be a simple enough task to find them. If anything, they will at least 
end up there, I would assume. And with that, they haul up Nebby, slit her throat, leave her there dead on the beach because what? she's a mutineer. No. And, no. Oh my god. Yeah, and if you uh, ask Captain Kenza and the first mate about that, they're like, this is completely unreal. We've been through a lot, but they don't deserve death for mutiny. <laughs> I'm sorry, I looked at Ernie as I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if anything, she doesn't. She seems quite sorry for everything. And finding a good cook is hard. I mean, look at how Riley cooks his food. Captain, I think there's something. Did you have any dreams last night? No. You didn't? Insight check. So many of us did. Nineteen. Nineteen? Let me pull out my chart so I can... Interesting. No, she seems to be telling the truth. Hmm. Sleeping next to the water always blows me straight to sleep. You sense maybe a little bit of reticence when she talks about it. But judging by the fact that she half of her is facing and talking to you. Uh oh. Did I lose my speaker here? We can hear you. That's good. We're gonna try and fix that a little bit here, but does it hear me? Your so, sound is changing, but we can hear you. You're good. There we go. Yeah. Lost my headphone speaker for a second. Ah. The way she's talking to you, she always has peripheral vision of where her ship is. And she is keeping an eye on that. And so as you ask her these things, as you talk to her, you will find her missing from the conversation and she's staring out at the ship. But the comments themselves seem true enough. Does the ship look like a total loss? The mast is gone, and the ship is beat to hell. Even from this distance, you can see that. But it's still overall one piece? But it's still overall in one piece. It doesn't look like it's sinking. Uh, I mean, the crew and Captain Kenza both checked to make sure they plugged up any holes with potatoes or yams uh, to keep it from <laughs> sinking onto the reef. Hey, um... I will look at the captain and tell her all things can be healed, even if they are broken. I learned this quite well for where I grew up and trained. Your ship is no different. It may take time, but it can be mended. You're right. The scars will take forever to heal, though. This is true. But I'm sure that the boat will have them on it. But it will be a reminder of the strength that it has. Um, that being said, I'm not going to be able to pay anyone unless we get that welcomite back, so... Go track it down. Although, actually, I ask, um, what was it, the first mate? I asked the first mate if they had any dreams because I'm very kind of interested now if there's a correlation between people who had dreams and people were mutineers. I mean, we didn't mutiny. We, we four didn't. But uh, I'm trying to figure out why they didn't, you know, why they didn't freak out and go with the rest of them. So so I, I'll just kind of go around and ask if, if anybody else who was still here, did they have dreams too or no? So Nebby had dreams. Captain Kenza had dreams. No, you said uh, she didn't. Oh, she did. I apologize. Didn't. Oh, uh, she oh, did. She you lied. Joe, you, told, so you lied. totally lied. We knew it. <laughs> did she? I don't know. I'm writing it down as she claims to not have had a dream. What about? Uh, uh, no, I was uh, thinking about who was all there at the camp. 
mm. and you're still missing one other party member who hasn't returned back but we will get yeah. to that in a second jeremiah and, yeah uh, we're no. going after him in a um second. and nookie there you go yes. and as you say nookie you see the cat come padding back into camp Aww. and jump up into captain kenza's shoulders well i'm like not gonna ask cat. the cat if the cat had dreams what about the first the cat mate? answers yes. The cat, mind <laughs> your own fucking business. <laughs> what about the first mate? The uh, first mate, uh, just my normal dreams. Interesting. Interesting. You don't get to be my age without getting some dreams here and there, of course. True. I, Brand does not expect anything from this, but given the events. You would like to look at these tattoos and see if they all look the same as they have before. Oh, interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Give me an good. investigation for that. Come on, Brian. Investigation or perception? Because I feel like investigation, that means I'm poking them. It's up to perception you. is, you know, a uh, nice distance. Now you're actually... Okay, These enough. are what his tattoos look like before. What do they look like now? <laughs> I rolled a <them> mask. <laughs> I'm so four. No! So, I mean, you do have the mask, so you have, like, a pretty good poker face. You could be staring right at his tattoos. <laughs> yes. yeah, no, <laughs> trust me, I give you that bonus on those things. <laughs> I'm like, ah, shit, Bran is covered head to toe. No one can see him. Damn it. Uh, roll me a D100, please. Oh, dear. What did you do, Brand? <laughs> hey, this is Cthulhu, right? Rolling low is good, right? Right, sure. right, yeah. sure. Yeah, that one is really good. But this is D. 70. You, as you're looking at them, the hands that are holding on to the uh, ship steering wheel that he has, you know, he has a sailor. Mm -hmm. Uh, a, a big chested woman hanging on to a steering wheel and you look at her hands that are growing, holding onto it and they have claws at the end of it and her eyes have gotten much larger and wider set and you look the mermaids too look a little bit more monstrous in that Rizante Innsmouth sort of way and yeah, his his skin is looking a lot darker. The tattoos, the thematic of them, are just a little bit darker to you. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of blink and look away for a moment, then look back to see if it looks that way still. No, they're perfectly fine. So now they look normal. Well, give me a dread saving throw. I don't ask for these enough. Nat 20 for 24. Yes. They are completely yes. normal looking tattoos. Your <laughs> eyes must be playing tricks on you. <laughs> you know, uh, you are not getting as much access to that sea breeze as everyone else. Um, I mean, your outfit is absolutely made to help blend and move and everything like that. But you're not getting as much air as Anja without a face mask over hers. Or anything like that. So me, he no, must be no, they that. say that the face max did not impede uh, um, uh, oxygen intake. That's something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's true. I mean, if you could run a marathon, if a marathoner could run a marathon with that thing on. Sorry. Right, Does right. he feel the breeze on his face when he has it on? I think <laughs> on not. this part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Brian can feel the breeze on. He can't at all. I mean, he does, he's covered. <laughs> well, what the occasional updraft. Up? Yeah. It was <laughs> my fingertips, but now that's being covered up. I need to get another glove now. Crap. So, um, all right. So, are we on our way then? Uh, Captain Kenza and Aiden lead Nebby along. Um, they've actually untied her to get through the walk, and she's fully cooperating them. She's in her grandmotherly way is checking on everybody. But Riley, if you even bother to look at her, she gives you this disappointed look as she uh, walks away with them. 
I don't know if I catch that look. Should I roll? <laughs> if you want to. Uh, let's see. A 17 on perception, I guess I catch it. You catch it. Whatever. Um, I see that they're moving on. If I'm going to now reapproach the group and uh, just walk up and ask, so uh, what's the decision? Are we going after the Wilkemite or after Jeremiah? Jeremiah? Actually, I don't know. It's Wilkemite. Are we going after the cargo or Jeremiah? Oh, I actually did think that you were... Oh, is that something got lo- that got lost? Was the fact that uh, the stones are potentially? Are I think it was uh, talked about after we went after the thief who took it, and that that was forgotten. We sent. We're sending the others to go track down the rest of the party members. So yes, we, we are definitely going after Jeremiah. You're not wrong. I mean, he's clearly in danger from what I could pick up uh, on when I checked the tracks. Okay. I get my human meat shield. That that's fair. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Ke- Captain Kenza. Kenza actually before she goes, she goes up to Cleo and says, "Don't worry, I know you guys are going to find Jeremiah, and he's perfectly fine. If there's anyone who can handle themselves by themselves, it's that young man. Thanks and I know the way he way. looks at you; he's not going to fall until he gets back into your arms again, Cleo." Oh, wow! You. But he's not. Okay. I had no idea he was that sort of relationship. And Isn't you find out like that like Captain okay. Kenza has no insight whatsoever. That's fair. She's probably <laughs> distracted by the ship. Um, <laughs> but so, yeah, when Anja said, confirms that we're going after Jeremiah, I say, okay, that's fine. I don't really care about those mutineers anymore now that I've thought about it. Um, I think the we cargo need to get doesn't back really that matter cargo, too much though. to me. So let's, let's go after Jeremiah. He seemed uh, a little naive, but kind of a decent guy. Yeah, he, he does. He All didn't right. near, Let's go. at least. Before we head out, I kind of stop everybody and I just look at Cleo, uh, Riley, and Anja together and I just ask them, are all of you okay? Um, let's see. How do I translate? Uh, well, I mean, I was really shook by that dream last night that I, that I had. Or was it um, the second part that we all had? I want to double check real quick. Anja, did you get the email that I sent with the corrections to your dream? Yes. I actually didn't realize there were. Yeah, that's right. There was like a correction, one of the names or something. Mm hmm. I uh, did. Um, why? Is it related to oh, Fett? I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. Guys, it was her okay. dream. The cr- I said, now I'm not suffering any weird after effects. Other than the fact, I do have a point of dread from that. I didn't. Get, I, didn't I didn't sprout anything, right? Yeah. No, you. I don't know. I can't spell. Are you writing something to me? I am. Right, yeah. I, I can tell by writing. his typing. <laughs> Wow, I literally <coughs> thought he was like trying to write something and he's like writing it on the All right, I'll, I will go to, I'll put chat, chat up. up. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, re- I respond to Bran and oh. let him know oh. that I, yes. I actually had a fantastic dream last night and I, I feel really energized <laughs> by it. Well, luckily, no one can see my skeptical look underneath the mask. But I mean, I you, there's no need to be skeptical. Yeah, if you inside him, you automatically. Fail. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. the thing is, uh, I'm not lying. <laughs> I, no, no, I, I, know, I, know I felt like I had lying. a very interesting dream, and I wake up feeling great. Out of all things, with Riley, Bran has come to realize he is an open book. Yes, he usually speaks the truth. I love the fact you called him an open book there, too. Of course. It's so perfect. I appreciate that. I kind of look at Chloe. Cleo. Cleo. It's okay. (laughs) He's had a day. Watch out. If it's Chloe, she can read your mind, man. I'm looking at the name. It says (laughs) C-L. Yeah, no. Anyways. (laughs) Are you okay? Yeah, I mean, like, emotions aren't even really that real, are they? Emotions are very important to the body, though. They affect you greatly if you do not maintain their balance. 
maybe for like the lower tiers of humanity, but you know, when you reach like a godly tier, it can't really need emotions. I find that was an interesting response. <laughs> I do. I, I did kind of laugh, but um, there may be some differences that was an between Asimov and human physiology. So it is Wait. quite possible. I said yeah, I don't there may really be some know differences between human and uh, Asimov physiology. So mm-hmm. you may have a point. Yeah, I haven't met very many Asimov before. I've only read about them, so uh, I'm interested in studying more. You me any wow, just <laughs> be real yeah, overt was, about I'm it. Not sure if he's Open it book right there. <laughs> uh, actually, like I say that totally in an innocent way, like a yep. researcher's mind. Yep. But oh, and that's I that's you so bad. And, and that is the way, yeah. I, I take it sort of that way, but I'm like, boy, with the way the dreams are going around here and the way things are, uh, maybe we need to keep an eye on Riley so he doesn't like dissect her. Uh I mean <laughs> I don't say that out loud. I don't think <laughs> I would just dissect her yet. It's it depends on how many you know how many points of dread we get. Insanity, yeah. Hey, <laughs> let's, let's go with that. <laughs> All right, look. Can we go now, for yes, Jeremiah? Yes, let's go. Let's go. Sure. I let Andre lead the way. Choo, 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 choo. All right, I go back to where I found that lead. Okay. No one's questioning the old. fact that I have wings, by the way. Like we <laughs> no, no, remember. They, do you have no, permanent no, wings no, or are no, you they saying they aren't permanent wings? They only, oh, they only come up. Okay. Yeah, they only come out when uh when you cast it. You know what? It's honestly your character, as long as you only use the mint wings once a day for That's a minute. True. I'm fine if you have permanent That's wings. That's kind of how I figured you want... like... I'm also going to screw you over for like armor, dresses. Really? You gotta how have to would cut you... that yeah, wing. If you had out. wings right now, your clothes wouldn't fit. Are you are you are you just <laughs> trying to have some anime fantasies when she pops up the wings and you know it gets all a little naughty or something? What? See? <laughs> That's why I say she can have permanent wings. That's fine with me. And they don't have to be super massive. They're like little baby wings. <laughs> yeah, little baby. If you look at her picture right there, she's actually got the wings sprouting out right at her shoulder yeah, blades. Yeah. That's yeah, why I just can't just make sure you wear armor that points. has like sh- uh, shoulderless uh, uh, dresses or backs to it. There you go. All yeah. right. So, wait, what kind of wings you sport, Cleo? <laughs> just for an image. I mean, do they have to be? solidified or could they be like oh like ethereal like yeah oh yeah yeah I that's like that. what they kind sure. of i think that's what they kind of are anyways when they bamf yeah. out it's 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 up to the players and but it really is yeah <laughs> for our furious leader says the parrot wings <laughs> yeah that totally it's works like listening sparkly ones like i don't see them being like feather feathers it would be like what kind of well what kind of um asimar are you because that actually they actually do have descriptions Ooh. of what kind of wings based on what, what type I? of asimar if you're not falling we're going <laughs> off the storyline yeah i know so, sorry this jeremiah this is, why I is so cool but we want it we have to determine what our so yeah is. here's like, the reason why i asked her if she's feeling okay and whatnot it's like She's saying, oh, no, I'm fine. Emotions are crap and everything. And I just look, you know, there's wings behind her. <laughs> yeah. hey, I just think so. emotions are irrelevant. I'm like, I don't need them. I don't need emotions. <laughs> Nothing Transcended else. Transcended beyond. Some of her hair falls into her face and a wing just comes by and clears the hair. <laughs> oh, no, I don't feel any different. <laughs> I love it. Okay. We can look this up later. Anyways, okay, yes. let's go find Jeremiah. And explore right. the island while we're at it. I agree. All right. Uh, so, Anja, you are following the trail. Is anyone keeping an eye out for danger in this jungle as you go along? Oh, I'm looking oh, everywhere. I, I always look for danger. Well, you're know. the one tracking, so I'm That's saying true. your focus is a little bit more on this. As a jungle, it's not necessarily your Germanic forest, so I'm giving you... Yeah, but yeah, we're giving you the benefit of the doubt here. Um, so who wants to keep an eye, an extra set of eyes out? Make sure she doesn't walk into a tree. Riley? All right. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not an outdoorsy person. So this jungle's very new to me and very interesting. So I'm looking everywhere, but probably not at the right things. 
absolutely. All right. Uh, and they all can keep an eye out. There's no reason why sure. they can't. Sure. And are you guys packing for bear or you taking everything you have with you? Or are you just going to try and follow this trail, see how far it goes, then maybe head back? Hopefully Jeremiah isn't that far. We will most likely have to head back, so it's probably best if we go last. Yeah, I mean, I'll take, I want my weapons and things like that for fighting. Although I really don't being, have much other stuff, really. If he's being dragged, he's probably not terribly far unless something literally lifted him up. Maybe. Well, we'll be able to find out because drag marks should be fairly prominent. All, All right. right. Thanks for that information. Yeah, so I got my fighting stuff at the very least. All right. Give me the survivor roll. Whoever's keeping an eye out for danger, give me a perception. Anja first. Oh, okay. So I wasn't sure. Is this me tracking or looking for danger? Survival. Survival. Okay. So, and because I'm in forest and it's a wisdom check. I can double my proficiency bonus on this. Ooh, don't roll a one. I didn't roll a one. I didn't roll great. That's a 14, though, so it's not terrible. All right. You set (laughs) off into the jungle following the tracks for a little while. Um, And this is a a volcanic island, so this jungle... um, Normally, with the woods forest we see around here, there's not quite so much on the ground here. Here, everything is constantly on the rise, moving up. In some cases, you see plants growing up along a tree. Ah, Kavana! That's why I'm on mute, because I'm just singing it to myself, but no one can hear it. <laughs> All right, anyways, what do we... Anyway, yeah. So, plants are just growing at every level, every stage of this forest. There's no... These huge trees are blocking out the sun, and so it is incredibly difficult to find out where these drag marks go. Oh, God. And there are some points where it leads you to these sharp, jagged rock outcroppings that you yourself would walk into because it's this pitch black mineral that's blending in with this volcanic dirt, which is just rich, dark black. And a few times Bran has to reach out, grab you to prevent you from stepping directly onto some of this obsidian glass. You can make stuff with that though. You could. Without the right tools, it would just shatter in your hand. But with the and right you bleed tools. everywhere. Thank you, Bran. <laughs> and so there's a few cases where this happens. Um, and eventually, past these rocky outcroppings, you find that it goes into a rocky cave. And the tracks disappear. And you are unable to follow. You could go into the cave if you wish. They seem to go into the cave though, right? Like the tracks lead up? They seem to go into this cave. And if you were to continue following on there, you find that these are lava tubes long dormant. There's no heat coming from it, although there is this warm stench in the cave itself, but you walk in there, um, light is cast for those who need light, I imagine, by either Cleo or Riley. And the cave splits off into six or seven different directions. I will so graciously cast light because I am the beaming light of this life. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who needs it. (laughs) (laughs) 
Yep, Maybe. probably I have dark vision. Yeah, dark vision as well. Brand, I will brand actually. Uh, I could actually put out a torch though, because as a monk, I can do that, and it's okay. It says I touch one object that's no larger than ten feet in any dimension. <laughs> I pull out a torch. She lights my torch. Brand pulls out a torch, <laughs> lights it, and then you're like, "Oh, I can make light." Touch. You touch Brand so that no, he, no, no, the torch. No, no, light the torch. Literally, his mass turns into this bright yeah. light. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's just All the right. nose of his mask. Wait, if. If you red. target an object held or worn by a hostile creature, that creature must succeed on a deck saving throw to avoid the spell. Yeah, Bran is obviously hostile. <laughs> yeah, so hostile yeah, because, because they probably aren't going to consent to having it done. I don't know why, but whatever. I mean, you can't really blind anything with it's this. Like so I'm not sure why it's a problem. Not like first edition, and yeah, yeah. Nice. So, anyways, you said the six. Can I um, perception check to see if I can hear anything? Sure. Figure out. I mean, you said I can't track that. That there's no tracks in here at all. Tracks disappear. For you. Is it? Is it because it's a rocky ground, or and there's no soil? That appears to be the issue. Oh, hey, that was good. Uh, Brand. I look for blood. That's a good point. Do not find any. And I'm rolling over your 25. Uh, Perception, that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. See if I can figure out which... There are sounds of skittering Mm. coming from the leftmost tunnels. One and seven. We know there's seven tunnels? I added an extra one because the tunnel behind you, obviously. Seven different directions you could go. (laughs) I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. I'm actually going to be slightly mapping on my little tablet as we go along. Yeah. Go for it. That could be really freaking helpful. He has a freaking etch a sketch. Uh, An infinite tablet etch a sketch. I just want to see him shake it. Oh, it clears the page. <laughs> no, it's weird because as you draw on it, when you start running out of room, the previous writing literally disappears. And when you had been studying earlier, you're like, oh gosh, it's gone. It suddenly reappears again. Yeah, whatever I want to read is... reappears. Exactly. But as I write it, cool. it disappears. And it's not just this flat surface. Every once in a while, you actually have to turn and start reading things that are on the side of the tablet and turning and spinning and every once in a while you see where you can turn a stone that suddenly reveals more information that you say had previously written before um cool little thing uh you hear clacking clicking sounds coming from the leftmost tunnels um honestly the hot air and stench are coming from the center ones and from the other far ones. Uh, you hear a lot more echoes in that general area. What kind of echoes? Um, as you guys make sound, this is a very echoey room. But they more pertain coming back from that direction. I'm thinking not the skittering sounds. I'm thinking the echoey sounds. What do you guys? I will whisper this to all of you. Which direction do you all want to go? I mean, my guess drag. is towards the echoey sounds. If at this point, drag, I, I think any tunnels is good at the, the moment. Sounds. Yeah. Well, which which way, Brand? Sorry, I didn't do that. Sound that has the skittering. You want to go the skittering way? I keep I, feeling like if he somebody didn't come drew, here of his own volition. Yeah, but I don't think. Sk- Things it's, I mean, maybe things that Skitter could have brought him. I mean, I'm, I feel interesting like to, humanoid. I'm interesting to learn what that skittering noises are. Um, well, we do have to. Do I see know. anything else in this tunnel hanging or anywhere aside from like 
stalagmite or anything? Or is it just like completely open and bare? Just mostly open and bare. Um, the sides of the wall and the roof itself um, have... I don't know if you've ever stepped into a lava tube before. It's definitely not very smooth, and you would think the ground itself wouldn't be smooth either, um, but it is in this case, so it's a well-worn... All these tunnels are fairly well-worn, um, that the ground itself is smooth, but if you step too far to the right or too far to the left, closer to the walls, it just kind of has this whippling, rippling... <laughs> waves along the walls and the ceilings. No real stalagmites or stalactites. And it's usually like a porous material, like the kind you use to like, you know, clear Pumice. off dead skin. Yeah, exactly. Pumice, Pumice stones. Yeah. Um, so you right, say I'll we... I'll just go out and say it then. Do I see webs? Because I don't think they drag him there. I wouldn't mind going and exploring that, but I really kind of want to find him first. And I just don't I think, think Kyle's get, catching on to what I'm thinking. What? No, <laughs> guys, guys, come on. So, Anja, cool. I agree that our goal is to find Jeremiah, but he could be literally down any of these. Tunnels, I know, and I know. Only a couple of the tunnels are actually making noise, so that's why. Go that I, way. That's why, but that's why I like the echoey ones as opposed to the skittery ones. I want to check out. We need to make a decision. Talking about it all night's not going to help. Yeah. Left or right. right? We'll go to the echoey ones. There we go. Echoey cool. ones. There we go. Okay. Uh, one or two. Which would be one. Titles, five or six. Oh, so five. Uh, fine. Lucky number six. You said six. six. Six is my lucky number. All right. Luck is with you tonight <laughs> as you don't lead the party into danger, but you do go down maybe about 60 or 70 more feet. The room opens up and ends there as this tunnel is closed. Okay, so he's not here. I realize the echo may be sound bouncing, hitting the cave-in and coming back a little bit sooner than, say, the other tunnels. Oh, I, I just double-checked to make sure that there's no, like, exits to this room that aren't obvious. Make an investigation check. All right. Seven. No way, no how, no exits out of this room in any way, shape, or form. All right, let's go down. We go back and go down six. To, I have what Riley did. Five. Ever, five, rather. Sorry. I yeah. Forget, what is it? Five. Or do this we one, think it's the same sort of echoey that maybe it it's... would be the same sort of echoey? Okay, in then... fact, you only get about 30 feet into this one because it makes a sharp turn, and there's the cave in. Okay, and we don't hear anything from one and two, one, one and seven were the skittering, one and seven skittering, five and six were echoey, and then the middle tunnels were hot and stench. All right, then. Fine. Well, if there's nothing here, then we'll go. We're, we'll do the skittering then. We'll go down there. That's the second choice. Okay. I One. draw my weapons. Or seven. Uh, One. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, I'm busy I'll checking. Stealthily. What's that? Stealthily. With your torch? I, right. I'm going to try to move stealthily. Always, with the light always, uh, and the torch and yeah. the glittering winged Azimar. <laughs> and the it. glowing mask. And the ranger who's got disadvantage on her stealth checks because her armor's too heavy. I'll make a roll, though. And that was a terrible. I'm not even wearing armor. I don't need it. Yeah, I know you don't, but I do. What is the walking order, just for uh, curiosity's sakes? No no particular reason. I would imagine either me or Brandon. I imagine I'm leading. I thought right. Anja was trying to follow the trail, and I decided to follow right after. I will the take camp. up rear since I can move wherever. All right. Sure. And Cleo, you are in the middle of this hot mess. 
Yep. Okay. So, Anja, give me a survival check for me real quick. Survival. Oh, that was, um, like, terrible. That's only... Oh, God, that was terrible. I rolled a two on the die, and that means it's a grand total of six. I'm not in the woods anymore. You hear voices. 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 Like the kids hollering, whining, coming down this tunnel. And by the sounds of it, they are, are in trouble. Mm, I, 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 can they hear it too? Or am I going to actually talk to them? I go, I hear kids and it sounds like they're in trouble. No. I can try to sneak. Bran, I would say from the back, you can hear the sounds of these kids. I just say no. Those are no kids. Probably not. Clearly. This is a trap. I want to, I'm going to try to sneak up on it. Yeah. Often predators. Uh, do you want us to hold back since we have the light? I have dark I have vision. To have light to see. Cleo, Bran, and Riley, give me nature checks. Oh, Anja, what was your uh, roll again? Oh, it's terrible. It was like it was a, a six. It was like a six, yeah. Cleo's ten. I didn't catch anyone else. Uh, 21. Nine. 21? Yeah, as you See, move Frank, up we are using with D20s. Anja, <laughs> no actual words are coming out of these kids' mouths. And as you start going between these two boulders um, that are in the middle of this, you realize... No, these aren't kids. These are bears. These are bear cubs playing. These are bear cubs playing. I'll let you uh, follow the rest of that terrible, awful thing that that means. Or do would you like me to spell it out? I Let's you... back up slowly. <laughs> what else do we see in this uh, I feel room like I should at? this. Or do we not see and just hear? Anja had failed to spy and to recognize um, our oh, no. law marks on the floor. Shit. The recognizable sound of two bear cubs playing. They who too? You don't see mom anywhere. Yeah, guys, let's back. I don't see Jeremiah either, right? You don't see Jeremiah either. Okay, back out. Back out is right. Anja, Bran, roll me a d6, please. I got a, I got a murder hobos. I got murder. Oh, it's green, so it's it's blending in. I got the murder hobos, so that'd be six. All right. Anja, you pass by these two boulders to head back out and you hit one of them and the ground underneath you rumbles as this boulder turns out to be uh, the shell, actually, of this monstrous ichthoidian looking bear creature with pincers and its maw splits open down the middle. And uh, let's roll for initiative, what guys. The f- <laughs> what the fudge is that thing? <laughs> That's good. That's good. 19. Okay. 11. 19. 11. Bran? 21. 21. Good for you. Uh, 16. 16. Yeah. 
All right. Let me roll for these uh, horrifying abominations. <laughs> uh, and yes, I did mean to use the plural. Yeah, I uh, say both pillars, right? Boulders, mm-hmm. yeah. Boulders. Oh, goody. <laughs> Make sure I get this pulled up here. I should have been more prepared, but I'm, to be honest, I wasn't expecting you to go this way. Okay. Always got to expect the unexpected. Are you telling me to expect the unexpected or that you guys expect the unexpected? You got to expect the unexpected. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 All right. All right. As this crustacean bear rises out of the earth, Anja, it will make two attacks at you. Does an 18 or a 12 hit? Uh, 18 hit, hit meets, beats, damn it, uh, but the 12 does not. All right. So this <coughs> pincer reaches out, latches onto you for six damage. Oh. As it holds you in its grasp, Bran, you are on the other side of it. Uh, you are all actually on the same side. You are not split up between the the uh, the bears and the uh, party itself. Uh, and so, with that, Bran, you're up. I will move up and next to the creature and Anja. Okay. So that I'm within five feet of each. And I will do a action to attack. Um, strike. Uh, 18 to hit. That'll hit. For six points. This is the one to attacking Anja, correct? Yes. All right. And then as a Bonus action, I will do a flurry of blows. Uh, what did you hit with? Were you using, you usually use a dagger? Your fist? Uh, unarmed strike, yeah. All right. Uh, against its hard shell, it appears that your fist is not doing as much damage as you would think it would. Apparently everything has a resistance on that. All right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be yeah. honest, for the first time we did that, that was just flavor. That wasn't actually mm-hmm. the case. This is the first time you're actually well, fighting something. I have it. to use bludgeoning again for my flurry of blows. So okay. it will be happening again. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is only a 12 to hit. So I'm assuming that's going to miss. That is a miss. And then for my second flurry of blows, I will instead do a healing hand uh, on Anja oh. and touch her and do 1d4 plus 4 healing. Or a total of eight. Holy crap, that's really good. Oh, I wish I could keep those. Point on her. Wish I could keep those extra hit points. Ah, oh, that feels so good. <laughs> All right, will be my turn. Okay, Anja, you are in the pincer of this bear-like creature. It is roaring in your face, slobbering. An odd fish smell coming from it. All right, so wow, I'm gonna... what a drop. <laughs> and he likes to do that a lot. He's been actually pretty good about not doing it as much lately. So let's see. I'm going to use as a bonus action. We're going to use Slayer's Prey. So I'll designate the one that's holding me as my enemy. Okay. And I only get one attack because of this. So I will use my scimitar. Oh, that's a 19 on the die for a 25. Okay, that will hit. All right, so 1d6, so 2d6 plus 4. Uh, five plus four, nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Awesome. <coughs> Roll a d100, please. Oh, no. I don't wanna. Do I gotta? <laughs> Yeah, it's fun, guys. <laughs> I don't want to roll a D100. That's never good. Uh, 22. 
two. All right. You stab slash into this creature and you hit <sighs> its fleshy exterior. Uh, nine points of damage, you said? Yeah. Okay. And uh, while Brand's attacks against this armor did not appear to do so well, yours does. Like better than expected or as expected? As expected. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. But just do. Ah, okay. I was just uh, reading up on your hunter's thing and just yep. double checking that you didn't automatically get something. Uh, so, nope, you are good to go. Uh, anything else you'd like to do? Uh, oh, it's no, I believe that's the end of my turn. I mean, I'm not going to move, so. Yeah, that's right. All right, Riley, you are up. Our way am I? Like 10 feet? 20? Uh, how far back with you holding a light do you think you would be? I wasn't holding a light. Oh, oh, I, I either of you two were holding the light as Anja and Bran snuck up. Uh, I assume Bran just put out. Oh uh, no, he needed light. I don't. I don't know. I wasn't holding if the light. It's actually a light spell. I could literally just put it underneath, like my arm, and cover it up. So Bran is holding the torch. Yeah. All right, Riley. How far did you, back do you want to be from where they were sneaking up? Uh, I probably would have been just like some like twenty feet back or so. Okay. But I assume I saw. This uh, creature attack Anja. And, you see these and this two creatures have risen up out of the dirt. Cool. Yeah, I want to, you know, try and protect Anja, and I'll Eldridge blast it. Go for it. Eldridge blast. But you Eldridge blast. Seventeen to hit. That'll hit. One. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, damn it! That's the way. You fire and oh, you miss, but then part of the rock comes down and hits on its shell, and it's just like. Mm, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, anything else for you, man? Um, no, I don't really want to get closer. I'm more of a ranged person. All right. uh, but I, I will, uh, I guess, take note of these creatures so I can make sure I, I draw them a little bit on my tablet later and take some notes. Yeah, sure. No, these are frightening looking creatures. They have bare uh, legs. And then these two extra pincers have crawled out there. They're missing patches of fur here and there. And then they have this hermit crab shell armor on their backs themselves. And then, of course, they have these wide, large eyes and they split right open at the jaw. Uh, and that Like vertically us... split? Like... Oh yeah, like a vertically split. I mean, they oh. have the normal bare mouth, but, but then that lower splits jaw open. splits oh open. Oh my god, oh, that awesome. is the friggin' worst. <laughs> that is nightmare fuel. Oh, you know what else is nightmare fuel? What? Being in between two of these bears that are grappling you when it's their turn. And oh, I'm like, I'm scared. You are disappointing to them, Brand. No, I'll I'll roll for one of them here. Uh, odd and even. So, Brand, you will get one of the ires. Uh, so the one grabbing onto Anja reaches out with its other pincer to attempt to grab onto you, and eighteen twenty four will hit you. Correct. Yes. All right. And that is going to be poop. Nine bludgeoning damage, and you are also grappled now. All right. And then it will go to take a bite out of you. Oh, no. And who? You might be lucky on that one. 16 to hit? That'll miss. Yes. All right. It misses with its bite as you manage to kind of keep it back. Uh, and then the other bear mitt crab comes in here. Shit, I gotta stop saying what these things are out loud. What? Uh, <laughs> so that is a 21 Anja and an 8. Well, obviously the 21 hits and the 8 misses. All right. You are in between a rock and a hard place as the other bear grabs you with its pincer 
and you take five more bludgeoning damage as you are now just kind of being a tug rope between these two. Well, not quite. I can still use my arms. I can still fight. I just yes. can't run away. Exactly. Uh, Cleo, how's it going? So, like, when you use a bonus action, you, like, attack, then use your bonus actions? You can use a bonus action whenever. Yeah, order doesn't matter. Provided you, you have something action that uses a bonus or bonus action. At, in any order. Mm-hmm. So if you want to cast a Toll the Dead as an action, and then if you have Quicken Meta Magic, you can spend two sorcery points and then cast a full spell as your bonus action. I didn't pay attention mm. to what you ended up deciding on. Okay. It always has to be a spell and a, a cantrip. Like a, a always has to be cantrip. that though for those things, right? Mm-hmm. Because you can't do two leveled spells together. Correct. Why? Unless it's like twin spell, I think. Okay, there's spiritual weapon. That's what I was wondering. That's a yeah. That's a bonus. You can cast yeah, that. That's a bonus. That's a level spell though. So I wouldn't be able to use like another spell. Yes, you, you can. You can use a cantrip. I can do a cantrip. Mm-hmm. And you would be able to attack with both in the same round. Yep. It is a solid Oh, choice. it'd be like casting that one and then I can use that to attack? Yeah. You, you so you, spiritual mm-hmm. weapon, attack with it. Yeah. And as your ac- as your bonus action, then as your action, you could do a cantra. So oh. like toll the dead. Actually, that'd be cool. Or, a very or solid or you, could yeah. out. you could use a bonus action spiritual weapon and then run up there and punch one of these bears. <laughs> Don't do that. Just a suggestion. I mean, Bran's doing it. If Bran can do it, why can't you? Ignore him. Are are you a goddess among men, Cleo? (laughs) (laughs) Or are you one of these simpering priests? Are you calling Anja a man? Among men, I said. Yeah. (laughs) Woman. Whoa, man! Whoa, man! Whoa, man. Right, what do you do, Come on, Cleo? What do you do? What do you do, Cleo? It's gonna be so exciting! All right, so I cast spiritual weapon. How far away am I from these creatures? Uh, I will say you're hanging out with Riley, if that's okay with you. Unless you think he smells, because he does. Uh, <laughs> sages, writers, really have no place in the jungle. What can I say? It, it's all, it's all the bad potatoes. I <laughs> smell like a bookstore. I love the way books are smelled, but all right. So how far away? 20 About 20 feet. feet away. 20 feet, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, so I cast it, and then I guess it's in front of the creature. This is, it says it could be anything I want it to look like. Yeah, it can be whatever you want it to look like. Oh, <laughs> really? I keep thinking about ponies oh, in my mind. You can be. I mean, it's, it's like, like a, a unicorn. unicorn. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I know someone I know someone who's playing a tabaxi cleric and they made it a cat, one of those feather cat toys that they Aww. beat at people. You know, yeah, you can you can have a lot of fun with what you so is it really you know be- it takes a sick mind, I think, to think of like a cat toy and beating someone with it. It's like, wow, what <laughs> that's not how you use that cat toy. What are you no. doing to your cat? Trust me, there's a lot it of is things a cat that people that's use doing it. that could be a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so wait, is it a unicorn? It's like a unicorn. In my mind, it's got like, it's like a unicorn head, basically, with like the horn. <laughs> okay. There you go. You get to attack, though, right now yeah. with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Roll the hit. D20. Come on. Do it. Come on. Hit it. Got this. 24. Yeah. Oh, I am so sorry, but uh, spiritual weapon only hits with a twenty-five. Shut up, it's Kyle. That... <laughs> That's a real are you hitting? No. no. You are hit. you hitting the one that everyone else is hitting, or are you hitting the other one? I guess the one that everyone else. Wait, which one's attacking everyone? They both, both are. Of them. Oh, well. I guess I'll go after. So, yeah, 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 yeah. out damage. We'll do that. Sure. So, okay. I don't know if I did that right. 10 damage. Oof. Nice. 
And oh. that all goes and through then, as this unicorn and just. Then... Wait, but then I can do one more thing. Yeah, I can cast can a action. cantrip. Cast a cantrip. Or run up and punch. Don't, don't run up and punch it. I'm 20 feet away. Yeah. 20 feet away. Told the dead. Told the dead. Is that even why are things dead? They, oh, what? Wait, no. the, what the one that's taken all damage is missing hit points. That's true. They're both right. missing hit one. points now. Oh, yeah. they. I think they are. Yeah, they're both. Yeah. Did you take twin spell as a meta magic? Do I have to use that? No. But if you did, you could hit both of them and do <gasps> the damage. But oh that's up to you and whatever choice you made. Sure, because I haven't used that yet, so we'll see how it goes. So I click away a sorcery point. One okay. sorcery point goes away. Okay, and then it's told the dead, so it's a wisdom saving. Mm -hmm. No, no, you don't need to do a sorcery point to do told the dead. No, but to twin do it. Do twin. Yeah. Oh, do it so twice. I got you. I got to you. hit both of them. Yeah. It's such a that's friggin' awesome. All right, I'm pulling out booster gold because that sucked. I rolled a nat one and a natural five. Yeah. Two d twelves and read off the damage to me. Oh, two d twelve. Unless you well, want to roll one d twelve and then I'll just give them both the same. Yeah, yeah it's one d twelve against each of them. Yes. Sorry. So one gets one gets two damage and one gets seven damage. All right. Oh, I was gonna say you got. Oh, I see. Yeah, two and seven. Yeah. I mean, not bad. These guys have been just beating the living tar out of one of them, this and you brought round. the other one to the same level as everybody else did in one round. Holy shit! Good job, Cleo. I'm gonna <laughs> take you out now. <laughs> okay. So let's see. That brings us back to the top of the round. Uh, Bran! Bran, what would you like to do here in the darkness? Oh, I was doing a bane. Really? Well, yeah. I'll pull out my <laughs> dagger and I'll stab it in the eye. Wait, are you now Bane instead of Bran? <laughs> <laughs> you think the darkness only about you? Is that better, Kyle? <laughs> should I speak like this for now on? <laughs> no! Oh, it would be amusing, but you should probably <laughs> speak <for Anne. laughs> I'd have to, like, get into it beforehand, really. Alright, so, uh, I will attack with my dagger as an actual attack. Mm -hmm. First. That's a good hit. That's 22. That'll hit. Or uh, for, uh, for piercing damage. And a uh, very important roll right now. Give me a D100. Oh. Seventy-seven. Your dagger sticks and is stuck. Oh shit. Yep. Nope, that's fine. I kind of figured. Uh, damn it. Oh god damn it. Now I know what that's for. And then. Uh, one moment. I gotta just see if I can do this as a okay, yeah, okay, and then I will, um, uh, I'll bonus action. Do one unarmed strike. <coughs> oh, nice. 24, almost a crit. So I will spend a Kai point and I will add healing hand to it. Or uh, not healing hand, harm, uh, harming hand. You're muted, Kyle. I prefer the first one, but go ahead. Yeah. I'll. So, I mean, I think your hand was off the chest piece at that point, but. Five bludgeoning and then. Uh, five necrotic. Ooh. 
And you just and that is my find. Turn. Yeah, you just find that crack in the shell, and as you dig your finger into that, you just some of that sickly energy that you get from your arm just kind of bleeds out into the creature uh-huh. itself. And it kind of cracks it a little bit and away some of that armor goes. All right, and you're not making a run for it. That's going to be bad news for you, but it's on just turn first. All you right. are stuck in the middle with them. Kill it, Andre, kill it. Um, all right, I'm going to see. I will go after the one that's been injured. Uh, I think I'm going to try to take God. I hope my weapons don't stick. Uh, I'm going to try him with both my weapons. All right. So I, those are going to be hits because that was an uh, 16 to 18 on the die. So All that's those D100s. Oh, my God. I'm like, no, I definitely don't want to. Come on. Okay, 38. Good. I'm hoping low is good here. 13. Also good. You again, you go after this furry flesh and you are fine as your sabers stay in your hand. Your short swords, your scimitars. I never remember short swords, right? Uh, one of no, a scimitar and a short sword. So oh, okay. I could have two different types of damage. Yeah, all right. One is piercing and one is uh, the scimitar is slashing. The short sword is piercing. Okay. All right. So, so we're all. Oh, that's two murder hobos. So that's, holy crap, that's 12. I'm rolling all the damage together. I assume I don't have to split it apart, right? No. Okay, so 12, 14, and I forget. I Yeah, because I don't have the feet yet, so I only add my ability modifier once. So that is three, six, that's 18 points of damage. 18 points. You didn't pick up... Uh... Dual wheel fighting at level wait, two. Wait, let me, let me. Well, once a feat, I think the feat's the one that allows you. To, well, maybe I'm getting yes. It the feat is what allows you to do it. Oh, That's, oh, you're talking the, the fighting, uh, fighting style, style lets you add the. Mod. Yeah. I, oh, okay. Then it's to add another four points. I mean twenty-two. Yeah, so it'll be twenty-two. Yeah, you slash off one of the jowls. Of the <laughs> creature that had originally grabbed you, and it is looking oh, yeah. awful. Which it's not us... dead. Damn it. Dead. No. Uh, Riley, you're up. Come on, Riley, kill it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Eldridge blast this thing right in the face. You got it. You can do this. Uh, 25 to hit. That hits. Roll a D100. No, I'm kidding. What? <laughs> Six damage. We want his spell to stick to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's holding on to you, Anja. But it's not. But but this is a much bigger thing than me. It's not going to hurt me. <clears throat> and you feel the grip of the pincer holding you, Anja, lighten. <sighs> However, the other one still has a hold yep. on you, and immediately starts tearing into you. Oh goody! So is that bear dead? That one is dead. Okay. Mm-hmm. That is a nat one. <laughs> and a nat 20. Oh, yeah. Well, that makes up for it, right? That does, now yes. It's, it's basically, I got hit twice. Yeah. Well, this is bad. By the worst attack. Yeah. This, this these degraded jaws just oh, no. rip into you. Oh, that's, that's, that, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You have to do a lot of damage. I'm at the point now you have to do a lot of damage I, to kill me outright. I know. That's why I uh, purposely rolled that low for your hit. Time. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 17 damage. Yeah, I'm still I'm still conscious. Oh, good. good. Not doing great, but I'm still conscious. <laughs> it's under 10. <coughs> you got this. You're looking real good. Oh, God. Yeah, probably... <laughs> Right. <laughs> Fabulous. You're real strong. So is the is the spiritual weapon still around? It is still around. Concentration. Okay. Yeah, it's it just been like there floating. Yeah, Cleo, you're up. 
No. And hit with that freaking thing. Yeah. All right. Stab it in the eye. <laughs> All right. So 19 to attack with that. Uh, with the spiritual weapon? My unicorn head. Yeah. <laughs> You 11 should... damage. Hmm? 11? It could be a hobby horse, you know, with the stick and a unicorn head. So like, you know what? A, a hobby horse is like a broomstick that uh, is like a stick. Oh, that's what it's horse. called? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. In my mind, that's what it's been with a unicorn horn. There it's you go. an old toy she had. I It was pink, and I still have it. But it's jewel-encrusted and <laughs> it's bedazzled. <laughs> <laughs> with actual diamonds. Wow, they're going to see actual horses. It's hair. blingy. <laughs> all right, all right. So. so this thing takes a bite out of Anja, and you, before it really digs in deep, you smash it across the face. What would you like to do next? It's still up. It's still alive? Yeah, it's like this is the one that no one else has touched, except for you. You're wrecking it, though. She is wrecking it. Can't uh, no, you can cast whatever you want, I think, right now. Except a spell. Oh no, yes, yeah, spelling. No, she didn't have to cast that. Exactly. That's a non yeah, a non-concentration spell. That's all. Mm -hmm. Non-concentration spell. Yeah, so you can cast whatever your little heart desires. Right. As long as it's not concentration. We believe in you, Cleo. If I do the snow, would it also impact on Jeff before I do it? What are you trying to do? My snow swarm. swarm. I don't know. Yeah, because I, if it's like if it's an area of attack, area of effect. Ah oh, shit! Okay. It'll hit, it'll hit me and and Bram probably too because we're yes. both up in its face. That's why I haven't done Cloud of Daggers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you guys thought he was evil. I did. I never said he was evil. I'm just awkward. <laughs> All right, I guess I cast the Witch's Bolt. Right, because that's just direct. Witch Bolt is good. Yeah. Which is bolt is direct. It would take your concentration, so you lose the oh. spiritual weapon. It would? Yeah, yeah it's concentration. It's one of those spells Damn that you it. hold and you can keep on attacking with it. Over and I over and over. Thought, all right, all right. Now, it's hear so me much out. To read. Hear me out. I don't know. Run up and punch it. No. To ignore Kyle. I toll the dead. You saw what it just friggin' to me out. You always do toll the dead. Nice. Solid I don't know. Spell. Unless you got magic missile. Wow, all these pretty much are the concentration. This you could heal me. That also would work right now too. Oh, do you have like oh, a um I'm friggin healing word? Uh that's that's an option too. I only have eight hit that's points. That's the ranged healing. But you could run up Shut and up. cast Cure Wounds. Yeah, I have Cure Wounds. <laughs> well, you could run up and cast Cure Wounds, but yeah. You could do that if you want. Or you can to. pick up a rock and throw it. Ooh. That's or yeah, you pumice push is Wiley really good for <laughs> It's like yeah. a 1d1. <laughs> Maybe. If it even gets there, I mean, pumice is so light, it just might kind of... I'm trying to remember. I've had a piece of pumice. I think that's side, Chloe. Cleo. Chloe. Yeah, god damn it. You're going to be doing it now. I know. <laughs> I'm just going to change my name, Chloe. Come um, on, Cleo. I can. Why is my dagger say 20 feet, 60 feet? That's the way throw, so throw it. And you are you 20 throw feet. Throw a dagger? <laughs> throw a dagger. Literally, I'm thinking, screw it. Or my, my cover it. my tongue around the other side. Okay, you throw the dagger. We <laughs> 13. Whizzes on by, but you hear 
bear cubs scream in pain. What? Oh, yeah. I'm kidding. Oh. I'm Kyle, kidding. Kyle, we're bad enough for... Bad enough once again, we're going to leave friggin' animals orphaned. We're going to leave them? <laughs> or know <laughs> what's wrong with you people? Not fucking again. All right. Cleo, that misses. Bran, we are back up to you. What would you like to do? One bear is just holding on to Anja. It's not like uh, Full ferocity. Cleo's dagger nearby? No. Uh, no <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually running towards you as this poor, sad bear cub <laughs> runs up to its dead mother. It's like a boomerang, right? Uh, I'm such a dick. I'm the worst ranger ever. I will go ahead and use an unarmed strike, even though... Actually, no. Uh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm not in range. I'm in melee with it, right? Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, unarmed strike. You could strike, easily be in melee with it. Even if it's not as effective. Okay. A hit with a 24 sure. at least. Yes. Or... Yeah. Damage, big damage, six. So I'm one. assuming three of it will make him through. stick to it. You. And then I will use my last no, uh, Kai point, key point, however you want to say it. Mm-hmm. Chi point, whatever, for flurry of blows. Yeah. Attack against it. Ooh, do it, uh, my brain. 15, does that hit? Okay. Yes. That'll hit. Get out of the way. I can roll damage. For five bludgeoning. And then I will okay. use my other uh, unarmed strike to heal Anja with my healing touch. <laughs> okay, hold on. As a part of a flurries of blows, yeah. you can do I this. I thought it used a key Harm, point. I well, it, it, it does. Did. I have to use. So if I do it solo, I have to use a key point. If I do the healing as part of a flurry, I can do one of the attacks with it. Harm, I always have to spend a key point. So gotcha. if I did a flurry right. and wanted to use harm, I'd have to spend another key point. Thank you for the clarification. DMs, uh, always double check your players because they lie to you. <laughs> and We're the worst. But I'm going to trust you right now because we're in. Let's go. How much? Seven. Seven? Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I will definitely take right. it. Anja, you are up. All right. Uh, that's right. I would have to put the... Oh, it's right. That's a bonus action. I'd have to actually put it on this guy before I hit. So one attack. Wow, that was not great. Uh, 14? Actually, 14 hits, doesn't it? On yes! the dot. Roll a d100 and your damage. Oh. Oh no, that's an 88, so it's stuck. Right? Your blade becomes stuck in its shell. Okay. But, oh, that was good damage. Uh, so, to 14 points. Woo! <coughs> All right, Riley, it's up to you. This thing is still standing. And again, uh, yeah, no, you got it stuck. Twenty-one time, to hit so with Eldritch Blast. Cool slice face off. Go, roll, roll, roll. High, high, real Come high. On. Full damage. Yeah. Uh, not enough. It's not most enough. I can do. I no, know. you did good. You did great. I knew that you weren't going to be able to kill it. Uh, which is why I am now going to kill Anja with its very last breath. Uh, this isn't good. All right. It's all right. We'll avenge you by murdering the cubs. (laughs) An 18 (laughs) and a 22 to hit. Damn it. Those both hit. All right. This is going to be. Let's get those. This is. Well, one of them is is bad. One of them is not as bad. So it may not be as bad as last round. Oh, this is going to be bad as last round. That is a 19. Between the two. I got yeah. out of um, unconscious. Okay. Yep. Leo. Yep, I, I 15. It's up to you. Right. Run up there and punch it in the face. Well, I still have my thing I can use. My... You still have your spiritual oh, weapon. Oh, you no, do have your uh, spiritual yeah, you weapon. You want to take spell. a swing? Yeah, of course. It's up. 18. 
Hits. Describe you slaying this creature. Yeah. Is it really? Yes. Seven damage. You have killed it. What did it Overly do? Overly so. Like, what did your unicorn horn do, though? It, in my mind, it's just floating there, and it like just kind of like stabs it. <laughs> <laughs> like that scene in um, Saving Private Ryan. Just Oh, the I, slow I bayonet. More like Cabin in the Woods, dagger, where the yeah. evil unicorn stabs people. There you go. That works too. Yeah. <laughs> and the monsters are dead. What are the cubs doing? They're running up to their deceased parents. They look like normal bear cubs. And uh, Anja is bleeding out. So. Uh... Yeah, I will go over and stabilize her with a medicine check. Fifteen. That does it. Oh well, fact, yeah, I think you I also automatically can. Yeah, I, I automatically do it anyways. I forgot. Yeah, it's whether you want to use it to get her back up or not. Is I can't question. heal her right now, so I will look at. Well, I can, but I don't want to use too many more of the uh, healing kits because I don't have. Well, no, I still have some. Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. Hmm. I will heal her with my feet. Feety feet feet. 26. Oh. No, I actually automatically stabilize her to one hit point. There you oh, go. I got one hit point, so I'm conscious. At the cost or no? No cost. Good for you. You are back up again. You pry all your jaws off. You get up. There are, like I said, two bear cubs. They look normal. Bran, you look at them, and Riley, you as well. If you take a closer eye on them, and you said you were, you do notice that these do have the beginnings of scales breaking through the fur, but otherwise, <coughs> normal bear cubs. Um, and guys, at that, we will end tonight's show. Uh, will the party ever find Jeremiah? Will <laughs> they slaughter every parent of every animal they come across? We know the answer to that. Am I the worst ranger ever? Nonsense. You did fine. <laughs> you did fine. All right. One more time. This video before we go out. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. If you want to take a look at our YouTube archive, you can do that. If you want to talk to us on Discord, you can do that as well. There's a link down below. If you want to hit us up for one of our one-shop games, are you a forever DM or are you just getting into playing D&D like... uh some loser who took all of their life until now to get into D&D, you can hit us up on Twitter or at imhoboinc at gmail.com. If you want to buy some cool swag, we also have a link to our store there. Eventually, there will be some cred swag. It will simply be a bunch of cute baby animals surrounding the party looking sad and miserable. I was, I was thinking some baby boars, like some baby cubs. Stuff. Baby boars, baby cubs, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know what that stinks and therefore in order to get rid of that stink go over to odd fish games venture sense get the stink of bear fish smell out of your coats with some wonderful tavern smells and finally thank you to pirate dog dice for making some cool awesome dice that did not help anja in the end of the day but they'll get lucky at some point right uh, after that, I guess, uh, let's just all wave goodnight because you guys have defeated and murdered and orphaned more animals. Bye. Good